surprise for you, you guys. Why are you filming? Yeah. You want to see the surprise? Yeah. Can okay, you eat it? For you, and that's for you. Minnie Mouse. Look at look at the shirt. Can you guess why you have this? Do you know why you have it? No. Yeah. You know why? We're going to Disneyland? Today. No, we're not. Today. We are. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to Disney today. We we're secretly go to packed all our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you'd like a free copy of our guide to the Disney VIP private tours, just go to topflightfamily.com slash Disney VIP. Many thanks to Walt Disney Parks and Resorts for hosting us on this trip. Okay, so we just landed in Orlando and we're on no, our way. <laughs> what? Delta's the airline, silly. So we landed in Orlando and we are going to meet our tour guide at the baggage claim. Girls, why do you love taking the airport train so much? Because it's a roller coaster. Yeah. Hello. How are, are you? Yes. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Jaime. Hi, Jaime. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is Sean. Hi, Sean. Nice Hello. to meet you. I'm Jaime. Hi Ella, I'm Jaime. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you guys doing? Good. I'll leave your bags right here. I'll load them in the car for you. Yes. Got a little delivery. I don't know. Let's check it well, out. I'm going back to Brooklyn with this. Goodbye. Yeah. And then. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Snacks. I. I ooh, look. Oh. Goofy. Goofy gummy. Oh, Rice Krispies. Popcorn! Oh, guys, this is the best thing ever. Are you ready for this? What? Nice. Pretzels! Pretzels. I'm taking everything and I'm going no. home. So, they just delivered this cute plate, a little welcome plate of macaroons and or macaron, as the French would say. We are walking over to dinner now. Ooh, I wanna sit on the swing. Uh, well, we're not getting on the beach now. See, Aww. there's a beach behind us, but we're not going to that part. So we're walking over to get some food. The bubble one with the 
the alligators in the water. Uh, watching the fireworks, you're going to be having a nice dessert set up for you guys. So mm -hmm. do some power walking over there so you can work up your appetite again. Uh, get some more sugar in you. <laughs> It's your morning nose picking. It's a Sanyomi family tradition. <laughs> Someone pretending to sleep. Good morning. Oh, this one's so squishy. Good morning. Get up. <laughs> I say get up. I say get up. <laughs> I may met us in the hotel lobby and now we're heading into the parks. So we just got to Pandora and uh, it's really cool because we basically came in a back entrance. So it's like right over there, the secret entrance. Now I couldn't show you any of the backstage stuff because it's super, super secret and Disney wants to preserve all the magic that they work so hard to create. But we basically drove in through the back way where only cast members get to go and it dropped us right in the middle of Pandora, so it was super cool. Hello, welcome to Pandora. This is Pandora. This is, uh, like I said earlier, yesterday uh, it's uh, been open for less than a year to officially open on Memorial Day weekend uh, last year. Right here, so uh, we're going to be uh, utilizing all of the fast pass engines today. including me, and you guys actually don't have to touch your magic bands because uh, this is the golden card right here. Uh, we're going to be going through the bioluminescent uh, caves of Pandora on this attraction. Nice mellow uh, boat ride, good family attraction. Uh, what's really cool about this entire land is that it kind of changes at nighttime as well. So uh, at nighttime when you're walking through here, uh, all most of the plants light up. Uh, even the ground that you walk on is going to light up as well. Uh, we have the utilize the bioluminescent paint on the uh, the concrete. So during the day, it's absorbing all of the energy and all oh, the wow. sunlight. And uh, it stays lit up all, uh, all throughout the night. Wow. signage uh, because the signage doesn't really fit in with the theming of uh, this section of, uh, of the park. So uh, we have uh, statues that are represented that, uh, uh, that tell our guests where the attractions are. So this one is uh, a banshee for, that represents the flight of passage and over at Navi River Journey we have uh, a uh, shaman represented in front of that attraction. So we're about to go on Flight of Passage right here, which uh, is a little bit more on the thrilling side. We just completed the Navi River journey, which it seems like everybody really liked. Two hours and 40 minutes. I'm not waiting that long. Two hours, 40 minutes, we say. So we've been in line for less than three minutes, maybe. So and now we're about to uh, load into the pre-show, which is right up here, which is going to set up our adventure for us. If there's any attractions that you uh, want to re-ride, all we have to do is exit all the way out of the attraction, and we can uh, get right back into the Fast Pass return queue to get back on the road. Can everyone see me? Yes. Great. Welcome to the Avatar program. 
Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. All right, you've all been matched with avatars. Uh, ooh, looks like they're ready for you in the next room. Uh, all I heard during the whole thing is I just heard you being, this is awesome! Awesome! Do you know whose handprint that is? Uh, no. You might not know. No. James Cameron, yes. Oh, wow. That's James Cameron. He was the director of the movie Avatar. So, Ella, it was a little scary. Mm, so okay. But you were so brave, Ella. Brave? So we just got out of the ride flight of the Avatar and couldn't really film in there. Um, but just to give you an idea of what it was like, it was just a lot of me going, ah, 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 and then Sean being like, this is awesome! And me going, ah, 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 and then Daddy just laughing. <laughs> So Flight of the Avatar is a super, super cool ride. Like I am kind of wimpy with stuff, but I really enjoyed it. So you basically sit, you're, it's kind of like you're in a contraption that's kind of like you're sitting on a bike. And the whole thing is, it moves and it vibrates and it actually feels like you're riding an animal, like a banshee. And just the way they put the ride together is amazing. Like you fly through all these different landscapes from like, the beach to the ocean to the jungles to the lumen luminescent pools and um, yeah it was just like really beautiful and kind of thrilling all at the same time. Did you like the zebras, Ella? Yeah, and and the flamingos were cool. And yeah. the are heading to Dino Land. Yep. Gonna check out the dinosaurs. Yep, looks cool. Secret <laughs> Dino Institute has created the Time Rover, an amazing vehicle yep. that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. Pandora and the girls love the Navi River Journey ride so much that they actually asked to do it again So we're gonna go on it again, right Ella? Huh? Yeah. Right now the wait time is 90 minutes and we're heading straight through again. Thank you So we just got to Disney's Hollywood Studios and again we went through a super secret back entrance which I cannot show you.
So what did you think, Ella? I got more points. Fasten your restraint. Use the yellow strap to pull the belt out from the right side of the seat and snap the belt into the buckle on your left. See, so you like this one, Ella? Yeah. I could go on that again. It wasn't scary, right? It was just fun? I could go on that again. Good. I need to stay clean and perfect, okay? So welcome to Chico. Have you done with us before? No, first time. First time. I see over here. So Chico is an African-inspired restaurant, African cuisine. Uh, underneath over here is a flaxseed non bread. On top, that one's an Egyptian flatbread. It's called Fatir. And this is our Tibs and Brie. So it's essentially a, a Tibs is a, a Tunisian dish, Brie is an Ethiopian dish. You put them together and it basically makes like an African span of So this is the African shield Guys, what do you say? Yes, thank yeah. you. Hi, Maze. See you in the morning. See some magic? Yes. Show me the magic. So we just finished a nice breakfast with the PR team from Disney and the rest of the influencer families and we're about to get in the car and head to Magic Kingdom. Thank you, Jaime. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> uh, what's up, girls? What's, what's up? up? Uh, got our mini ears on. What up? So we again just came in a super secret entrance and as we got off the car we had a whole team of VIP guides with cold water, with a whole basket of snacks to greet us and to check us in with our magic bands um, and then now we are entering a super secret entrance and I am actually allowed to film this one so here you go. Just like that, we are in Magic Kingdom. We are on our way to lunch at Crystal Palace, which looks really lovely. lunch and I see I got my hat on because it's getting super warm I forgot to bring it yesterday and we are about to watch the show here at the castle and yeah let's check it out so 
the weather in Orlando can be a bit unpredictable. There is a sudden downpour, as you can see. So we're just gonna hang out here for a bit and wait till the rain stops. Jaime uh, got one of his fellow cast members to get some ponchos for us and he just went over to meet them to grab us the ponchos so that we can keep going on our adventure. Thank you. Thanks, Jaime. Then you should just wear it all day. Just I looks, think so. It just looks good on you. It does. <laughs> Shows my curves. <laughs> We are on our way to watch the parade, which is going to be starting in a few minutes. And um, supposedly we're going to have a really great view, so can't wait to see. Alright, so we have a killer view of the parade. We're actually standing on top of uh, the train station. We're on the top deck. And as you can see, we can see everything. to go through the super secret exit. I'm going to show you because I can't show you the other side. So we're here at Test Track and we're about to go into the design studio. There's two parts of Test Track. We're going to be going into the design studio where you'll be able to uh, design a car from the ground up. That design is going to be linked to your magic band and uh, right before you get on the ride you'll be able to link uh, your design to the ride vehicle that you're riding on so it will tell you how your car is performing under the four different types of tests. Oh, well, we're going to so, win. No, me and Ella yeah, are going to yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, you are going to win. Welcome to the Sim Track. You can select the different type of narrator that you want. You can select the location that you want. And you can select the type of music that you want. Oh! <laughs> there one. One. I said one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So we just left a ride called Test Track and in Epcot Center. And uh, the really cool thing about it is you get a chance to customize your own car and then you can race with somebody in our party. So we race with our kids. Uh, they wind up winning and it's really cool. And then after you win, you can actually do um, like a commercial and then they'll email you the commercial, which is really cool. Um, it's a really cool ride, it's indoors and then half of the ride is outdoors. So it's really, really fun. We just took another super secret entrance into Epcot and we are about to go to see the Frozen attraction. Okay, so we are in the Mexico showcase right now, this part of Epcot, and we're here on Cinco de Mayo. So as you can imagine, it's particularly uh, lively and happening today. So 
we just did the Frozen attraction where we got to see Anna and Elsa. That was really nice. It's like a nice little boat ride. You go through, there are a couple exciting parts like where you go backwards and <laughs> Ella, you're like dancing in the background of my video. And uh, you had a little splash, but it was cool. Definitely recommend it if you're a Frozen fan. These girls definitely are. That wraps up our days at the parks and we're heading out our super secret exits out of Epcot and we are off to dinner. So we are at Boardwalk Resort and we are heading to dinner at Flying Fish, which is a seafood restaurant here. super early flight because Sean actually has to get back for a three mile run that she has to do that's part of her uh, test for junior black belt in karate. So thank you so much Disney, it's been an amazing trip. Um, Shane is our awesome guide for today who came to pick us up and uh, yeah we're gonna head to the airport. Mm -hmm. how busy this airport is at 5.30 in the morning. Orlando Airport is no joke. We got here 5.20, 5.30 a.m. and the lines were already insane. And luckily, we had actually signed up for Clear um, right before coming out to Orlando. Uh, we'd already had TSA pre and global entry for a few years now, but the reason we got Clear is because the last time we went on a trip, the TSA pre line was actually closed, so, so we had to stand in the regular line, which was pretty whack. Um, and so I'm glad we got it for this trip because even the TSA pre line, there was a line. Whereas with Clear, there was nobody there. We got in, we checked in, and we went straight through. I mean, if we'd stayed in the TSA pre-line, I think we probably would have been there for another 20 minutes or so. And the regular line, forget it. But yeah, definitely, for sure, get TSA pre. And um, if you can also add another layer, definitely recommend Clear as well. Top Flight Family received complimentary airfare, hotel, meals, guide, and parks access. 